Hi guys, thank you for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I started planning my pregnancy. Yes, I know. <laughs> it is an interesting topic, especially for we ladies. So, I will start by saying that we ladies do face a lot of pressures from societies. If not from the societies, it will be from our family members. If not from family members, it will be from our friends. The questions that comes is always endless. Oh, when are you gonna get married? Oh, when are you gonna start having a family, raising kids? Oh, when are you gonna get pregnant? All these, all that. Oh my goodness, it's endless. I'm not saying it's not a good thing, it is but then sometimes we don't really know the amount of pressure we put some ladies through when we ask them all these questions we might be asking it in out of our love for them or maybe that we care or either way but the truth is you don't know how that person is feeling you don't know the reason why the person is where she is at that moment so sometimes we should take a break and let some people be because some people might get married and they don't want to have kids right away so i would say take a pause and ask yourself like if you are in this person's shoe would you like to be bothered with all these questions and you know and you don't even know if someone is trying to get pregnant and has it has not been happening for them or something could be wrong somewhere you can imagine how that person will feel when someone keeps pressuring them on you know matters like that okay <laughs> that being said I want to start a series of um, videos of how I started thinking about getting pregnant immediately after I got married I've always wanted to be a mother because I love kids I love babies you know um, immediately we got married we started trying to make babies we got married in the year 2016 in the month of June and after that I and my husband agreed that yes why not we should give it a try you know and see what happens oh my goodness guys I thought getting pregnant was an easy deal but it wasn't I was so surprised I was so frustrated I was so mad at myself I was almost giving up I'm telling you the truth because I thought maybe at most three months few months you know that I will get pregnant right and I will take it from there but guys guess what happened it didn't happen until after six months in the first year that we started trying and within two months guys I had a miscarriage I mean I was so devastated it was a time in my life that I didn't want to keep going back to it is not something I wish for any woman because the pain was too it was too painful you know it was agonizing and I started getting so depressed I was you know when you want something so much and you're praying over it and when it happened you guys um, experienced um, joy you hugged each other kissed each other because finally it has happened for you guys and down the road things changes and you find out that you lose that little one that you've been hoping to see his or her face at the end of um, nine months I've been there and I know how it hurts so I didn't just lose one baby I had a second miscarriage and I mean 
you can imagine how I felt. It was really bad. So when that was happening, I told myself, okay, since this is happening, I think I have to change one or two things to see, you know, what is wrong and if there's anything that I'm not doing right or there's something I need to improve on. And first thing I did was to join a group online. Um, it's actually for people trying to get pregnant and also people trying to get advice from other mothers that has passed through motherhood or the pregnancy stage and that really helped because you, if you are wanting to communicate with other women that that faces the same thing that you face there are lots of people there that encourages you and gives you up-to-date information on what they experience during their own time you know and when you hear their own success stories it does give encouragement so that was what I did I joined that group is actually called ovulation calculator so um, I got a lot of uh, information from there how to check my ovulation how to keep at it how to what to eat and what not to eat and stuff like that and then I started taking my prenatal medication so Another thing that I did to change my situation was I've always prayed. Uh, I kept praying and believing God, but then, yes, God answers our prayers. I believe that and I know that He does His own thing at the right time when He feels that you can take control and, you know, take care of a particular gift that He gives you. That I come to understand about how God operates. Sometimes, you know, we want things like right away, I want it now, 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 you know, and you don't even know the reason behind God delaying that very request. Uh, I would say that God actually brought my baby the time that um, I've already improved on certain things you know that he got me ready you know emotional and physically ready uh, for the arrival of my baby some of the things that i try to do to um, change my diet and make it right was i started making smoothies my husband came across some certain veggies and nuts and fruit recipe online that we could combine together and blend and both of us took it daily and started dieting on it all these were the things that i did and one of the greatest thing i think also that brought my breakthrough was at that point in time hallelujah challenge was going on so it, it is an online prayer that was arranged by Nathaniel Bassi, a an evangelist from Nigeria. He's also a musician and he came up with this Alleluia challenge online and I made sure that I joined in those prayers and um, wrote down my prayer requests like he instructed and at the end of the Alleluia challenge guys I, I mean <laughs> I tested and lo and behold I was pregnant so guys don't give up it will happen just try as much as you can to see that you're doing everything right on your own side and also on the side of your creator you know believing in him and trusting in him so guys for now this is the part one I'm going to make another video that will treat what I did in order to make sure that this particular pregnancy did not go away like the first two thank you for joining me today love you guys and hope to see you soon bye